Welcome to Missouri Economy Today. I'm Julie Peterson. Joining me today is Andy Papen, manager of the Community Development Block Grant Program in the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Welcome to the show, Andy. Thanks, Julie. Tell our viewers a little bit about the Community Development Block Grant Program known as CDBG. The CDBG program is it's made, com composed of federal funding from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which passes down to the state through the Department of Economic Development. And then we, in turn, award that, those funds to uh, local communities for various public works projects and other projects they may have going on. Great, great. And can you tell me the types of entities that are eligible to apply for CDBG funding? Sure. It is a community-based program. It's only limited to uh, cities and counties. Uh, other organizations, such as water districts and nonprofits, can't apply directly. Now, they can be a, a local government can apply on their behalf. They cannot apply directly. Uh, the only uh, only entities that can apply directly and receive funding are cities and counties, There's, and it's not also not designed to award funds to individuals either. Right. And is there a size requirement on the counties or cities that, are, sure. that apply? It's limited to cities with populations at or below 50,000 in population and counties at or below 200,000 in population. There are several, quite a few cities, obviously, and two counties which are not eligible for the state program. They get their CDBG funds directly from HUD right. and, and therefore are not eligible for the state program. Great. And give us an example of the kinds of activities or projects that funding can be used for. Sure. Generally speaking, the priority items have been public facility type projects, water systems, sewer systems, bridges, roads, drainage, you know, just large scale public facility projects that do benefit an area. There is an, an income restriction or an income requirement rather on the funds. The uh, the, at least 51 percent of the people benefiting have to be of low to moderate income status and I know that sounds very technical but uh, it's, it is a program designed for the lower income areas of the state. Great and is there a maximum amount that can be requested? The maximums really uh, vary by the, the category of, of project. Uh, the largest maximum, that, well, some of our economic development projects will actually go up to a million dollars, and in fact in some cases two million dollars, uh, depending on the number of jobs being created, the size of the project. The uh, Most projects have either a $400,000 or a $500,000 maximum for CDBG. Now we do try to leverage other funds as, as best we can with those dollars, but the maximum for CDBG is generally speaking is in the four to four to $500,000 range. Tell us a little bit about the application process involved in applying for CDBG funding. Uh, the program is divided up into, into several different categories, as I mentioned earlier, and it, some are competitive. They'll have deadlines, and we'll take all the applications for that, uh, that type of project at one time, score them in-house, and then, and then go from there. Some are more on more of an open cycle basis, where we'll take uh, applications throughout the year as long as we have money. Kind of depends on the application. We have more, we can, you know, we can provide a lot more information on that for, for, for your viewers. Um, the application is not, you know, it, it's it's somewhat lengthy. It's there's a it's a, it's federal money passing through a state program, so there there's a lot to uh, there's a lot of things that do have to be filled out, but it's not uh, you know, it's not a difficult process, and we have uh, sufficient staff to help people with those those applications. And from the time the application is received, give us an example of the review that's involved and and how long uh, uh, applicants can expect. Um, the process to take? Sure. It varies because sometimes it depends on how complex the project is. Obviously very large, co uh, very complex public works projects that have a lot of different funding sources uh, do take a lot of, of effort to go through and a lot of time to go through and there's a lot of give and take sometimes with the, uh, with the, uh, the applicant. But from start to finish uh, when we receive an application to when we we're able to make an award, usually you're talking a matter of uh, I'd say you know, a month or two. It, again, it kind of depends on the on the project. Fantastic. And where can viewers interested in CDBG find out more about the program? Sure. The, uh, there's a lot of information on the uh, the website of the Division of Business Community Services here in the Department of Economic Development, and that website is www.missouridevelopment.org, all spelled out. And then our, our phone number for our program is 573-751-3600. And we've got staff who can, can work with communities and uh, potential projects on working them through the process. Great. Fantastic opportunities, Andy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. That wraps up this edition of Missouri Economy Today. Join us again next time for more on economic development efforts in Missouri. I'm Julie Peterson. Thanks for watching.